Hi Ken from Fleet Fuel Testing here and today we're going to do a demonstration of our field test kit for detecting water in diesel and biodiesel blends. If you missed our discussion on water in fuel and how water behaves in diesel and biodiesel, please see our website or you can search YouTube for Fleet Fuel Testing and you'll see our videos there. Alright, let's go back to the lab and do the demonstration. When the test arrives, it comes in a box of 12, and there will be 12 individual tests in the test kit. And what is here is a test bottle, and inside the bottle is a small tube with the water indicating solution. So what we're going to do is do a side-by-side -side comparison. These are the same fuel we've added to two different tests. We're going to add one drop of water to this test on the right so we can see the difference between a, a pass and a fail. That's a single drop of water, about 30 microliters. I'm just going to shake that water up just a little bit. And this test will work for biodiesel blends, it will work for straight biodiesel, it will work for straight number two diesel, it will work with dyed fuels, jet fuel, kerosene, and heating oil. We're going to add our water indicating solutions. Make sure these are mixed up well. Give them a little flick and a, a mix when you get them to make sure the solution is mixed up. We're going to add those directly to our two samples. And then we're going to cap and shake. And then we're going to look for a color change in the indicating solution. It turns to particles floating around. And as these indicators pick up water, they start to turn red. And these particles, you can see immediately in this sample that we added the drop, just a single drop of water to, is turning very red. You can see them start to settle out. And so here are our samples after three or four minutes. You can clearly see the red ring at the bottom of the sample where the water was added. Hold it up so you can see it there. And so this test picks up water in the range of, oh, the detection limits are between 200 and 500 parts per million. Importantly, this test does detect suspended water, which many of the current methods only detect water that has settled out to the bottom of a fuel sample. And this is very important because biodiesel tends to hold water up in suspension. So any place where there are biodiesel blend mandates or usage, which is all over the country currently, it's important to be able to test for suspended water. Well, that's the end of our demonstration. For other demonstrations and other tests, please see our website at www.fleetfueltesting.com.